Good evening and welcome to the closing of our Eucharistic Adoration Day with benediction. We welcome those who are watching this from their homes, live streaming it, and we pray that through this prayer you will feel closer to us and we to you and especially closer to the Lord. Light and peace in Jesus Christ our Lord. Thanks be to God. O oh God, come to our assistance. Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O oh, radiant light, O oh, Son,
Let my prayer rise up like incense before you, the lifting up of my hands as an offering to you. Let my prayer rise up like incense before you, the lifting up of my hands as an offering to you. Let us pray. O oh God, our creator and liberator, Jesus Christ, your son and our brother, turned his eyes to you even in death. You spared his soul and anointed his head with glory. May our prayer rise before you like incense and our evening be favored by your peace. In Jesus' name we pray who lives and reigns forever and ever. Send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh Lord my God, you great indeed. How manifold are your works, O Lord! The earth is full of your creatures. Lord, send out your Spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your Spirit and renew the face of the earth. If you take away their breath, they die, and they return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit of life, they are created in your sight. Lord, send out your Spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your Spirit and renew the face of the earth. May His glory last for all time. May the Lord be glad in his works, pleasing to him 
will be my theme. I will be glad in the Lord. Lord, send out your Spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your Spirit and renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you have prepared a place for us in your Father's eternal home. Watch over our welfare on this perilous journey of earth. Guard us from life's dangers and keep our lives free from evil until the end. For yours is the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from a letter to the Hebrews. We have such a high priest who has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of the majesty in heaven, minister of the sanctuary and of that true tabernacle set up, not by man, but by the Lord. Now every high priest is appointed to offer gifts and sacrifices. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We'll take a few minutes of silence now to reflect on the word and the prayer of this adoration day. My soul proclaims the Lord my God, my spirit sings his praise. He looks on me, he lifts me up, and gladness fills my day. Oh. 
In the peace of the risen Christ, let us pray to the Lord, be our light and our salvation, that our risen Savior may grant us victory over all our enemies, seen and unseen. Let us pray to the Lord, be our light and our salvation, that he may crush beneath our feet the prince of darkness and his powers. Let us pray to the Lord, be our light and our salvation, that he may raise us up with him and set us with him in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord, be our light and our salvation that he may fill us with the joy of his holy and life-giving resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord, be our light and our salvation, that he may provide for those who lack food, work, and shelter. Let us pray to the Lord, be our light and our salvation, that by his power wards and famine may cease, throughout all the earth. Let us pray to the Lord, be our light and our salvation, that those who have gone before us in the faith of Christ find refreshment, light, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord, be our light and our salvation, that isolated and persecuted churches find fresh strength in the Paschal Mysteries. Let us pray to the Lord, be our light and our salvation. In the communion of the Holy Spirit and of all the saints, let us command ourselves and one another to the living God through Christ our Lord. Let us pray to the Lord, to, to you, you Let us pray. God, our Father, by raising Christ your Son, you conquered the power of death and opened for us the way to eternal life. Let our Easter celebration raise us up and renew our lives by the Spirit that is within us all. You are one God, now and forever and ever. Amen. We pray now in the way our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, 
now and forever. Amen. Tantum ergo sacramentum venere nu genui et antiquam documentum novo cedar rejui preste fide suprementum sense The divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Consoler. 
Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Go in the peace of Christ. Amen. God bless you all and thank you for coming this evening and for those who joined us on the live streaming and thank you for all of our ministers and those who participated. God bless you and give you peace. <laughs>